So today we're going to discuss uh, multi-line hatch and wipe out. So first is the multi-line. So the multi-line you cannot see here on the ribbon panel or on your ribbon tab. So medyo nakatago yung command na yan. So ano bang ginagawa ni multi-line? Si multi-line, ang ginagawa niya is for you to create multi-lines. No, especially for if you're making a wall. So, it depends on you kung ilang lines ang gusto nyo kay multi-lines. Basta minimum niya is 2 lines. So, for you to create a multi-line, you have to type ML. Sorry, ML. Yeah. And press Enter. Yeah. So, sa explain ko muna kung ano si multi-line dito. So, I have to create multi-line. So, si multi-line... Meron siyang dalawang part. This is the top. Itong ibabaw. And this is the bottom line. Here, this is the start. And ito yung end mo. So, if we type multi-line again. ML. And press enter. Sa command line nyo, makikita nyo dito si justification, scale, and style. So, si justification, ito yung location ng multi-line nyo. Once na nag-create tayo. Si scale, this is the distance of your multi-line or of your two lines with each other. Then, the style, yung style ng multi-line nyo. If you want it, three lines, four lines, or multiple lines. And you can also set the color here and yung line type ng multi-line nyo. So, first, <clears throat> we'll discuss the justification. So, if you type J, you will be asked if you want a top, zero, or bottom. So, let's cancel first this command and for you to visualize what I'm going to discuss. So, we have to create a line first. So, this is my line. So, yeah. So, again, ML and press Enter. So, you have to press J or type J and press Enter. So, here, Ang justification natin is top. So, you have to type T for top. So, ito ang ating reference line. So, once na nag-click ako dito at I move it on the right side, si top, siya yung malalagay doon sa mismong reference line nyo. Okay, so kung nasa right side ka, nasa ilalim, yung second line mo. Then, if you place it on your left side, nakaibabaw na si bottom. As mentioned, this is your top and this is your bottom. So, si top mo, siya yung nakadikit dun kay reference line mo. And then, si bottom, siya yung nakalayo. So, yun na ginagawa ni top. Now, cancel na natin with try the zero. So, ML, press enter. Type J for justification and press enter. So now we're going to type Z or you can click the 0 and then press enter. So kay 0 naman, naka center siya. Okay. Means nasa gitna. Yung reference, yung reference line mo nasa gitna. Yan siya. So, lagi siya naka-center. So, let's cancel again for for you to visualize the bottom. So, ML and press Enter. Type J. Press B. Or you can click this for bottom. So, si bottom, maging ganyan yung tura niya. Si bottom line mo, siya yung mapupunta dun sa reference line mo. And sit up, nandun mismo sa iba po ni reference line. Then, kung dito ka naman sa right side, nakapailalim na si top mo. Kasi, si bottom mo yung nakadikit doon kay reference line. Yan. So, for example, we're going to create a group. So, I have, you can type the length, no? Tapos, you can just 
move your cursor to which direction would be your magda line. So, for example, 2 meters or 2,000 millimeters, press enter, and then 3,000 or 3 meters, and 2, and then 3, and sa so, kita nyo dito, sa so, command line, you can see the close and undo. So, if you're okay with the shape, so you can type C for close. And Sorry, nakalimutan ko discuss, which is yung scale pala. So, ML, for example, I ML, press enter. So, you will see here, on your command line, is yung scale. So, when we type S, press enter, you will be asked, anong distance ni multiline mo sa isa't isa. So, here, nagawa natin is 200, but you can change that to 150 if you want it interior wall. Kung meron pa kayong ibang type ng wall, for example, partition, a cubicle partition, mga uh, 19mm lang. So, pwedeng 19mm. So, once na ginawa mo siya, ganyan lang siya. Or, for example, applicable din siya if you're going to create a handrails. So, yan. So, yun yung kayo scale. Now, ML, press enter, you will see here the style. So, si style, sa previous version, when you, once you click the style, may lalabas na window for you to create a style of multi-line. Now, uh, if you type ST, and then here on command line, you can see the question mark. So, once you type question mark and press enter, isabihin lang niya sa'yo na naka-standard yung style ng multi-line nyo. So, for you to create a multi-line style, so you have to type ML. Then, you can see here, may option siya na ML style. You can also type yung mismo word. Ayan. Kung ayaw nyo mag-type ng mismong buong word doon, you can just select dun sa options na lawas kanina. So, yan. So, here, makikita nyo yung window ni multiline style. So, para siyang dimension style. Ganun yung mangyayari. So, you can, ha you, you can see here the set current, new, modify, rename, delete, load, and save. Sa load, if you have a previous multi-line style, you can load it na lang. Then, if you want your multi-line na gagamitin mo siya for other projects or other drawings, you can save it. So, here, you can see yung preview ni multi-line. Kung ano magiging sure niya. So, here, nakaselect tayo kay standard. So, kay standard, ito yung itsura ng multi-line. So, what we have to do is to create new. So, you will be asked to type the style of your multi-line. So, I will type multi-line 1. So, you don't need to use space here para kay multi-line style. So, pag nag kasi ng space, hindi mo siya makakontinue. So, don't need to put space. Then, click continue na. So, here, another window will pop up. You will see here the description. You can type the description of your multi-line. For example, walls. You can type there walls. So meaning, the multi-line one mo na style is for walls. Here for the caps, meron tayong start and end. So pag nakita nyo dito, this is the start and this is the end. So once na click mo si line, magkakaroon ka ng close dito. Magkaroon siya ng line. Then, kay end, dito naman. So, i-uncheck ko na lang siya. Depende sa inyo. Still depends on you if you want to have a end, uh, start and end of the multi-line. So, here, kay outer arc naman, magkakaroon siya ng arc dito. 
Ayan, sa start and end. So, applicable siya kay railings. Ayan. So, kay inner arcs naman, if you have multiple lines, you can use the inner arc. So, since dito, dalawa lang yung lines natin, halos same siya kay outer arc. No? Pero hindi dito hindi siya nakikita. So, you have to have a multiple lines. So, kay angle naman, yung angle nung start and end mo. So, for example, kasi dito, naka-90 tayo. Kung ginawa mo siyang 45, naka-45 degrees si start mo. Yan. So, we will keep it that way. So, 90 na lang siya. Si fill color, magkakaroon ng kulay yung hatch mo. Because, alam, para magiging hatch yung dating niya. Pero solid lang siya. Okay. So, <clears throat> iinanan na lang natin. Okay. Then, sa display joints, yan, makikita yung joints no line mo. Meaning, yung kung saan yung may mga yung pinakalast na line, once na nag-connect siya, magkakaroon siya ng joint. So, kunyari, kung lumiko-liko yung line mo, magkakaroon siya ng lines. Or yung multi mo, lumiko-liko, magkakaroon siya ng joint. Kung nasa yung pinaka-corner ng lines mo. So, i-uncheck na lang din natin siya. Here sa elements, uh, you can add here. So, dito mo siya lalagyan kung gusto mo ng 3 lines, 4 lines, or 5 lines. Depende sa inyo. Okay. So, yan. Once na nag-3 lines ako, Si 0.5, ito yung nasa top. Ito si 0. Then, ito si point, negative 0.5. So, kung ano yung naka-highlight na blue, yun yung pwede mong i-edit dito. Si offset, distance between the other lines. So, for example, nagkaroon kasi tayo dito ng middle line. So, once na pinata natin dito, yan, once na natin yung offset niya, Sa pag 50. Okay. So, meaning, magiging 50 distance ni uh, multi line, ay ni top line, dun kay middle line. Kapag, yan. So, dito hindi mo na siya makikita kasi masyadong maliit lang yung preview natin. Okay. So, you can add more lines pa. Depende sa inyo. So, Pwede mo rin palitan yung kulay ni line. So, kung gusto mong lagyan ng kulay, so yan, magiging cyan siya. Depende sa inyo. Or if you want, once you say by layer, kung ano yung layer na ilalagay mo doon kay multi-line, yun yung magiging kulay niya at saka yung type ng layer nung layer na nilagay mo. So, pwede mo na naman lagyan ng line type si multi-line. Pwede siyang pwede kang mag-load. For example, you want dash, hidden, uh, naka-divide, phantom, depende sa inyo. Okay? Depende depende rin kung anong klase or, or kung saan mo siya gagamitin. So, since naka-wall lang naman tayo, you don't need to change the line type of the multi-line that we are going to do. So, we can delete this one. Then, change it to 0.5. So, depende yan sa inyo. Ah, kung anong offset. If, if you want many lines, saka depende yan sa inyo. So, since wala naman tayong Binago, nag-create lang tayo ng multi-line. So, as is na tayo dyan. I have to change na lang yung color. So, click OK. Then, set current. Set current. Then, OK. So, erase muna natin to. Gawa ulit tayo ng bago. So, ML. S, press enter, 
Okay, natin siya wall fishing. Then start na tayo na point. So, 2 meters. 2 meters. 2 meters. Then, then press C for close. Okay. So, meron na tayo mold the line. So, we have to create rectangle or door. T by 1 T P So, si multi-line, pwede mo siyang ma-explode and ma-trim. Hindi mo kailangan siya pwede yung ma-break. Once we say explode, uh, for example, ganito siya, parang isang component, uh, mapaghihiwalay-hiwalay mo yung lines. And that's the time you can break the multi-line. So, if you click the multi-line, dito sa quick properties, pwede mo siyang palitan yung multi-line justification. You can change it to 0, top, and bottom. So, yan. So, erase na natin itong reference line. Then, move na natin ito. Yan. So, in order to uh, remove this line, you can trim it. Yan. Select. Now, since nandito sa edge siya, pag minove mo siya, sasama dito sa, sasama rin kabilang line. Then you can see then, may mga grips siya. You can move yung grip niya. So, control C na lang natin. So, same as here. Yan. So, create tayo na ang door swing. Ito lang natin. Create na lang tayo na. Siya na malaki. Stretch. Ayan. Then, trim na lang natin. See? Circle. Parang ka na lang. So, meron na tayo. So, that's it for the multi-line. We're going to discuss the command hatch. So, si hatch, ang ginagawa niya is to put a shape on your drawing. So, as if you were going to put or you're going to color your drawing. So, in order for you to use the hatch here on your draw ribbon panel, you can see this icon. So, this icon is for hatch. So, for the shortcut command of add hatch, you just have to type HA and press enter. So, once you're in your hatch uh, properties, you can see here the boundaries, the patterns, properties, the origin, and the options. So, here, pick points. Ang ginagawa ni pick points is once you select or you pick a point doon sa mismong drawing mo, yun yung ma-hatch niya. Okay? Once naman kay select, so, click natin si select. Ang ginagawa naman ng select is you will select the boundary of your drawing that you want to put a hatch. Okay? So, for me, I prefer with the use of pick points. So, you have to click the pick points and select the inside of this uh, plan. So, there. So, here in the pattern, you can change the pattern of your hatch. So, you can put a solid, an angle, and C31, and C32, 33, and so on and so forth. It depends on you on what kind or what kind of pattern of hatch that you want to use. So, depending sometimes on the plan, for example, if you're going to hatch a wall, 
So you will have to use NC31. So if you want to hatch a roof, you'll have to choose the pattern that you want. So I have to choose the NC31 for the pattern. So you can see here, I already have the pattern for the hatch. Next is this one for the properties. So you will be, uh, you're going to choose what type of hatch that you want to put on your doorway. So you have here the solid. So once we use the solid, the hatch will be solid. As in, there's no any other pattern. It's like a color lang na solid. So next would be the gradient. So the gradient naman, para magkakaroon ng lightness and darkness yung yung hatch mo. Or something like you have, there's a tint, a shade, and may transition ng two colors. So, if you choose patterns, so these are the patterns that we have. Okay, user defined, it's like your custom. You were going to create your own hatch. So, we all are, so we're going to use now the pattern. The, and the pattern is NC31. So here on the right side, you will see here the hatch transparency, the angle, and the scale. So okay, hatch transparency, ang ginagawa naman niya is to make your hatch invisible or visible. So since now zero ang hatch transparency natin, it means that our hatch is visible. So if you put 50, it means our hatch is 50% visible. So the maximum value for the hatch transparency is 90%. So if we move or if we scroll, uh, if we scroll the hatch transparency, the maximum is 90. So meaning, once we plot our drawing, the visibility of our hatch is only 10%. Okay. So here on the angle, as you can see here on the drawing, our hatch is not that visible anymore. Okay. So we will make it or retain it as zero. Next is the angle. So the angle, you will set the angle of your hatch. Since our hatch should be in 45 degrees, so we will make this one a zero. Okay, if we change this to 45, our hatch will become 90 degree angle or it will become vertical since the pattern that we chose is in 45 degree. So we will attain this as 0. Next is the scale. So the scale is uh, the amount of how big or how small is your hatch. So here the set is 150. So if we make it 0, I'm sorry. If you make it zero, okay, we want to make it hundred. So the hatch will become more uh digit digit because the scale natin is limited. So if we make it fifty, so make medyo constricted yung hatch natin. So for me, masyado pa, masyado pa rin malaki yung distances ng hatch natin. So I'll make it this as at least 30 in scale. Okay. If we choose associative, later we will discuss the set region. So for the associative, it means that your hatch is like a component. Uh, isang group lang siya. Kapag inang-click natin si associative, so let's cancel first our hatch. So you can see here, na associative siya. Meaning, it's like it as uh, isang component siya. And our grip is here on the center. So once na-minove natin si grip, parang iisa siya. 
Now, nung minove natin siya, na-uncheck si associative. Kasi nagalaw si hatch mo. So, control Z natin. Then, i-click ulit natin siya. So, naka-associative siya. So, once we unclick the associative, you can see here, lalabas yung mga grips niya. So, meaning, you can edit now your hatch. You can, like, stretch it if you want. Yeah. So, yan ang nagagawa ni uh, pag hindi nakaklik si associative. Okay. So, control is edit natin. So, naka-associative siya. So, pag siya natative, uh, once you put, once you're already on your layout, and you make your MV and scale it, once na naka-click to, or naka-on siya, susunod yung hatch mo dun sa scale. So, mag-a-adjust siya. Or, i-adapt niya yung scale nung, <clears throat> uh, nung MV mo. Okay. So, i-assist na lang natin siya. Then, punta tayo ngayon kay set origin. So, for example, this is a toilet or a bedroom na lang din. For example. And we will put a tiles here. So, H, H, A and press enter. So, we will choose a pattern for our uh, floor. So, for example, I will use this NC37. So, I have to click the inside or the space inside the wall, uh, room. So, yeah. So, we will change first the scale. So, I want the scale to be uh, 150. So, yeah. So, I want the pattern or the angle of my tiles to be in straight. So, we will make this as 45. So, it depends on you if you want a uh, different angle for the pattern. So, here, as you can see, naka-center si, uh, center yung origin ng ating hatch. Since equal na meron siyang maliit dun sa gilid. Okay. So, if you click this, magsiset tayo ng origin. So, here you can see different icons for set of origin. And yung naka-on is yung center. Meaning, the center of our, the, I mean, the, cent, the origin of the hatch is in the center. So, if we choose this one, the bottom left, meaning, and we click it here, meaning the origin of your hatch is on the bottom left. So, the other one is the bottom right. So, if you click it here, naka bottom right yung origin ng hatch natin. So for example, if you is if you install a tile, kumbaga your setting out or the start of installation of your tile is on this side. Okay. So next is top left. So meaning the origin of your hatch is on the top left. Next is on the top right. So, the origin of your hatch is on the top right. So, we all notice that um, medyo malit na lang yung hatch mo dito. Same as on the left side. So, next is the center. So, you have to click the center of your space. So, the draw the hatch the hatch origin is on the center. So now, sa design, if you're going to design a room, a small room, for example, and you're going to put a tile. For example, this is the door. So let's cancel first the hatch. So for example, this is the door. And yung room mo is maliit. Ang unang latag dapat ng tiles mo or the origin of your tiles should be on this side sa pinakadulo kasi once na pumasok si tao or si client ang unang-unang nakikita na is yung 
itong side. Hindi naman yan pagpasok. Ang una niyang titignan is itong baba. Okay. So, if you have, for example, if you have uh, furniture here, tas dito sa wala, so dito ka maglatag ng tile mo. So, same vice versa, if you have furniture here, and you don't have furniture here, ang latag mo ng tiles is on this side. Now, if yung area mo naman is malaki, no, ang unang makikita ni client is yung itong pagpasok niya. For example, this is the door. So, the, yung latag dapat ng tiles mo or the, your tiles should be installed on this side. So, yung first tile should be on this side. If yung area is malaki. Okay. So, that's how you will design or install a tile if you have a bigger room or smaller room. The wipe out. So, ano bang ginagawa ni wipe out? So, wipe out is used to cover your drawing. So, there's a trick on using the wipe out. So, here, on your draw tools on the hidden panel you can see this icon so this is your wipe out so as mentioned it covers your uh, drawing so for example as to do the wipe out you have to click this icon or you can type wi so you can see here the wipe out. So and press enter or spacebar. So on your command line, you will see here the frames and polyline. So see frames, ang ginagawa niya. So we have to click this first. So you will choose if you want to on the wipe out, meaning the edge of the wipe out or the boundary of the wipe out will be visible. So if you choose off meaning you will turn off the boundary of your wipeout on the display but not plot meaning on your model or your drawing you will see the boundary of your wipeout but once you plot it it's invisible so it will disappear so you will not see the boundaries of your wipeout so on the previous version the only option that we have there is the on and off and pag naka off na yung wipeout mo you cannot select your wipe out because it is totally disappeared or you cannot see it anymore so <clears throat> let's cancel it and we will first create a for example we're going to create a column here so rectangle or EC press enter so for example the size of our column is 200 by 300 then you will change the layer so we'll create a layer so add text so I add layer sorry so we will have to create it rename it and call you press enter then we will change the color into blue press enter so there so we will Change the layer of this rectangle to hollow. Uh, sorry, hollow. Yeah. And then we will put a hatch. So each and our hatch will be this one, for example. And we will change this angle to zero and the scale to ten. Then we'll create another layer. Uh, change this to color. Press OK. Then close it. So change the layer of our hatch to hatch. So, so <clears throat> we will now put the column on this plan. 
So as you can see here, visible si wall, tsaka yung hatch ng wall. So in order to cover this one, you will use the wipeout. So to use the wipeout, WI, WI is enough. Then you can see here again on your command line, the polyline. So there are two ways you can create a, ha a wipeout. First is by selecting the edge of your drawing. So by selecting it, you can see on your command line to close and undo. So if you're good with the shape of your wipeout, you can type C to close. So you can see here na wala si uh, mismong column and yung hatch nor. Same as on the uh, wall, for example, and itong hatch ng wall. Kasi si hatch, kinocover niya yung mismong object or parang pa-cover mo yung mismong background. So in order for you to uh, change the order of your drawing, you have to type dr for draw order and then select the hat the wipe out sorry and then enter you will have to choose the ordering of your object so we'll use the back so you can see here na punta sa ilalim si wipe out pero kita ito so what you have to do is use the draw order again select the wipe out and change this to under object of this polyline na color group okay. so nawala naman si hatch ngayon so i draw order na lang din natin yung hatch ni color so above na lang siya nitong polyline okay. So, <clears throat> yan yung asang trick na ginagawa ko if I'm using the wipe out. So, for example, you have column here. What if I'm going to put a window? Or a door, for example. So, we'll change first the layers of this hatch. So, we'll change the layer to hatch. Okay. So, I want to put a door here. Okay. So first, you have to create door jump. So 50 by 150, and then rotate it, then copy it. So for example, the distance, the width of our or the length of the door opening is 900. So we'll type 950 since we have the door jump press enter there so we create the door swing so 900 by 50 there so we have to create the layer so door so we'll change the color to yellow for example press enter and close the layer. So we'll change this to door. Okay. Sorry. So I want to change the color of this to green, for example. Then we will create the door swing. So I have to trim this circle. Then change the layer this to or and I will change it to red for example so as you can see if we put this door here I'm oh, sorry the hatch are still visible same as with the walls so it's like overriding so 
we will move first the door and the door jam so, okay. so we want this to be covered so what we have to do is to create a wipe out then select this one this one then close so you will notice na cover si uh, mismong door jam and yung wall and even yung hatch so we have to use the draw order to to make the door jump in front so dr press enter select the wipe out press enter it should be under the polyline or the door jump this one so press enter so you can see open na si uh, itong meron na tayong door opening okay. so we can also put a layer on our wipe out so LA create a layer then wipe out for example then we'll change this to red you can change any color you want then here on the line weight, you can also change the line weight of each layer. So, enter. So, we'll change the color of our wipe out to wipe out. So, for example, we're going to plot. Uh, we'll change first the frame. So, you can see the difference. So, WI wipe out then change the frame f type so what if we use the off so you can see nawala si wipe out since enough natin si wipe out in frame ni wipe out so you can still select the wipe out on our previous version like 2012 you cannot really select the wipe out it's totally disappeared so yeah so if you don't want to off the wipe out so you have to type wi wi press enter and select the frame so type f then display but not plot so ganyan siya so put it on kay layout for you to visualize what will happen so yeah. so mb press enter so you can see here yung wipe out natin. So for example, we're going to plot it. So PDF A3 and window. So center, then the scale is points to one, monochrome, then we'll have to click. So you can see here, hindi na visible si uh, hatch dito, pero nagkaroon ka na ng door opening. So pero nakita mo, meron pang line si wipe out dito. So since ang layer natin kay wipe out, and yung kulay ng layer natin is red at naka default yung line weight niya makikita yung uh, yung thickness nung wall kaya nagkaroon siya ng line dito so to make this one totally invisible yung mismong line so you have to change so you have to cancel this first so go back to our model so change natin itong layer ni wipe out so since ang type ng pagpaplot ko is nakatibente sa kulay yung thickness for example, red ko is 0.1 then yung blue ko is 0.5 so 
So, yung sayan ko is 0.4. So, gagawin natin siyang sayan. Okay. So, if we go back to our layout and print it, uh, iso full bleed. So, iso full bleed means parang mawawalan ka ng margin. So, change the window. And, preview. So, yan. Edit siya. Medyo meron pa rin. Pero, hindi na ganun ka kita. So, kapag naka-off naman si wipeout mo, apply to layout na lang. So, wi, f, then o, off mo. So, ganyan siya. Mawawala talaga si wipeout. So, pag kinantrol p mo siya, at nag-preview tayo, center na. Ayan. Once na print naman yan, hindi na makikita itong line niya or may line man, but masyado ng manipix. So, same as with Windows, you can do that as well. So, cancel lang muna natin. So, kung nga na maglalagay tayo ng window dito. So, rectangle. 150 by 600. Yeah. Our stretch na natin gawin na ng 1, 2. So, tag-tag tayo ng 600. So, create tayo ng copy na lang natin to. So, mirror na lang natin. cancel na natin. Close, ay, erase na natin. So, create na lang tayo ng polyline. Then, change yung thickness. Sa body. Siya naman yung air. Yan. So, same kulay na lang natin. Then, change na lang natin ito kulay na ito into yellow. For example. And this one to red. Then we're going to create the wipe out. So WI, press enter. Ito ang si polyline. For example, cancel muna natin si wipe out. For example, yan. Kapag nag wipe out tayo, WI, press enter. And we click the polyline or type P and press enter. I-click mo na lang yung mismong object. The object should be polyline. It cannot be used if it's line only. Na uh, square uh, rectangle siya pero ginamit mo is yung line na command. Hindi siya, uh, hindi mag-work si polyline. Ay, si wipe out daw. So, once na nag-click mo na si polyline, you will be asked if you want to erase yung mismong polyline, itong rectangle, or no. So, if you click yes, since naka-off yung wipeout natin, ganito yung mangyayari. Mabubura si rectangle, then si wipeout yung matitira. So, to on it, WI, press enter, then F, and make it on. So, yan. Visible na siya. Okay. So, we can move naman this wipeout here. So, change na lang yung order. So, DR, press enter. Then, click the wipe out sa so selection cycle. Then, put it on under. Under itong object na to. Yung line na dilaw. 
then press enter so yeah so once we move this one move na lang natin siya and place it uh, with this the midpoint there so you can see natakpan yung mismo wall mo so yan so yun yung ginaga ko for wipe out so for example you're going to put a bed here so rectangle 100 by 1 2 example and let's make a layer so furniture then I'll change the color to red yes ok enter then close it so change the layer this to furniture so we'll create the wipe out so since rectangle siya and polyline you can type E for polyline and no so yeah so nakaibabaw ulit see wipe out so we will see draw order then under pag ilagay mo kasi yung back mangyayari pati dito iilalim siya so dun siya sa pinakadulo so your wipe out will be placed at the back of all the object so we have to move this example here is my bed so there so on my previous video I already mentioned na ang pagdrawing ko is lahat ng object is patong patong even yung reflected ceiling plan nakapatong na rin siya sa isang plan then I have to on and off na lang yung layers so ganyan siya so that that's the discussion for the wipeout.